Well, be honest. When you first heard, I always ask people, I've been a part of you know reality shows. When you first heard about Shark Tank, did you think it would do as well as it as it? No, 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 absolutely. I said, I said, um, it, it will never work. Why, why do people want to just see us all argue and do what we do every day? And <laughs> yeah. then I said, the only reason I'm going to do the show is if Mark Burnett, the producer, yeah. will listen to my three smoking hot TV ideas that are going to change the world. Okay. So I went to breakfast with him. Okay. He knocked down all the ideas before the <laughs> orange came. Oranges came. And then I said, I'll do the show. Oh my God, I love it. That's it. <laughs> and that is Hollywood. That's Hollywood. <laughs> I, that's so, that's so. The ideas are so crappy, I don't remember them. I don't like, so <laughs> But at the time, we're like, this is it. Yeah. Um, we've all had those moments. Well, wait, when you were starting out, um, you sold hats and yeah. shirts on the streets in Harlem, right? Yep. I didn't know Olympics. that. Yeah. That's I stood amazing. right outside the Apollo Theater. Yeah. And this is what we always try to tell people on Shark Tank. Do you have customer feedback? So the because I came up being baptized by fire. Standing outside at midnight when the Harlem, when Harlem Theater, when yeah. Apollo let yeah. out and everybody was drunk and happy. Yeah. They told me about what they thought about my shirts and my mother, right? So, yeah. so you got <laughs> oh, real sweet. customer feedback. And I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, so this is exactly where I started, and that's why we love seeing other people that have real customer feedback. Oh my God, that's bold. Yeah. That's like, I used to cocktail at a comedy club and the drunk people can be mean. Oh, you cocktail at a comedy club? Oh yeah, my, the drunk oh people can be vicious. Yeah, they are, Woo. they are, they are definitely uh, <laughs> oh. opinionated. Yeah, but if you can survive it, you'll make it. Um, yeah. So, so what, are, what are three things that someone needs to nail down before bringing an idea to an investor? Their numbers. They have to know their numbers because mm. if you don't know your numbers, then you're going to, you know, you either have to increase sales or reduce costs, right? They have to know who their customers are. You know, I sold to a very particular customer. A young man between 18 to 35 would pay 39 for this type of shirt and not 49, right? Because mm. if you do not know who your customers are, then you're using our money as tuition. And then the next thing, and the last and most important part, how do you convey this message and this value to your customer? Everybody has, there's nothing new in the world, right? Snuggie is still a blanket with two holes in it. Facebook is a, you know, a, a different form of a chain letter, right? A great chain letter, mm -hmm. but there's no new, nothing new in the world. You have to have a new way to communicate. You may make it lighter, faster, stronger, but you gotta be able to share where it adds value. Wow. Yeah. Good advice. I feel like I just became a part of the merger. Like some, I feel like I'm at a board meeting. Got, that's amazing. Wait. It, it, that is the truth. That's amazing that your mind thinks like that, though. It's it's not everyone's mind. It's thinks. always about the customer, right? All of us have our own problems. The only time we invest in anything is we feel that somehow it's made for us and somebody's solving a problem. If you can't communicate that to somebody. You don't have a business. You're not going to win. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, you've got an event coming up called Black Entrepreneurs Day. So, so what's that all about? Black Entrepreneurs Day. Uh, you know, we saw all what was going on the last two years. I, I thought I, I looked out in the streets and I saw people of all colors coming together for, in, you know, to fight injustices. But a lot of these kids were burning businesses instead of building businesses. And I said, who's going to give them the inspiration and the money and the uh, knowledge on how to create businesses? I called up a bunch of people uh, and uh, a bunch of corporations said, we're gonna give money. So I'm giving a quarter million dollars away in grants wow. of 25,000 a piece. Wow. Yeah. Yep, and um, live from the Apollo Theater, I'm gonna be interviewing amazing people like Tyra Banks, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Hart, uh, having uh, Khalid perform. Uh, wow. So from the most famous theater in black culture, uh, giving away money and showing other people who have made it, but more importantly, their mistakes, and great people like you helping support to get the message out. But wait, the most, the coolest part of that is that you used to sell hats I'm going full right? circle, You're going baby. Full circle. I'm full circle. Okay. You got in the building. I, I, I got, got in the building. Got in the building. And I'm going to rub that stump, you know, yes. that famous stump, and I'm going to be up there, and they're going to be like, it's not about you. I'm like, yes, it is. Yes, this is my moment. <laughs> so inspirational. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the Black Entrepreneur's Day event will stream live on Damon John's Facebook page at 7 p.m. Eastern Thursday, October 14th. Visit blackentrepreneursday.com for more information, everybody. You got to check it out.